Rajola once said baseball is a funny game, and it is. You looked at Zach Wheeler pitching in the early part of the game, and he looked unhittable, but then the Yankees hit him. They did. It's, it makes you wonder. I mean, the, the stuff is all there. You can see the frustration on the Mets' part, on Zach Wheeler's part. It seems like every time he gives up a fly ball, it's going over the wall. But give the Yankees credit. Uh, they came back and picked up Tanaka. They got down early. He gave up a big home run to McNeil. It looked like, uh-oh, here we go. But no, Tanaka settled down, pitched very well from that point on. The Yankees came banging back. And even though the Yankees' big sluggers have been on the I.L. for a while, the Yankees are still a home run hitting team. And when they win, they hit home runs. They had three today. Uh, big one by Gio Urshela. Uh, Gary Sanchez, late little tack on stuff. And then Luke Voigt, who continues to just hit the ball hard. 16 home runs on the year. His previous career high was 15 last year. Uh, you know, we, we debated in spring training, was he a fluke last year? He's no fluke. He's no fluke. And I think he should get that batting practice pitcher ready to, for the home run derby in the All-Star game. He's earned it. He deserves it. Go back to last year since he showed up, and he's gotten every day at bats and regular at bats. He's been one of the best power hitters in the game. Best power hitter, or certainly from a home run standpoint, in the American League since that point. Now, speaking of power hitters, Gary Sanchez, as I mentioned, the tack on home run, 20 home runs on the year. But don't just look at the offense. I mean, you could see last year at least a batting average. That was an aberration. But this guy's done everything behind the plate. You mentioned during the game, he's not afraid to throw to a base. He's blocked balls well. The pass ball seemed to be a thing of the past. Nobody's complaining about Gary Sanchez as a catcher anymore. Yeah, funny how that works, right? Yeah, I mean, it's my catcher now, right? If you're Yankee, Yankee universe, uh, he, he has earned it. He's worked hard. He got himself in great shape. He, he, he took all the criticisms to heart. And you see, you've see, seen major improvements, so you have to give him credit there. And all the phases of the game that he needed to work on, he did. And, and it shows this year so far. And finally, Gio Urshela with his home run. And David said during the game, it's true, you just wonder, well, is he coming down to earth? He had been a little slug. He's hitting about 250 over the last couple of games. But the bottom line is he came in single, double, and a home run as well. This guy can hit. He really can. So the, the changes and adjustments that he made are real, without a doubt. Now, is he an all-star third baseman? Defensively, probably. We'll see uh, offensively how sustainable it really is. But uh, no doubt he's getting better at bats. And he's kind of a guy you, you want up at a big situation. If you look up and down the lineup, there's a lot of great hitters. But you think LeMahieu, game on the line, you need contact. I think Urshel is probably right up there, uh, right behind LeMahieu of people you want in the big part of the game when you need contact and to drive in a run.